For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about how to provide a root user access or sudo access without giving them a root password or without giving them a, any um, related to the root, but they can run any command as a root okay so how we are going to give that so access levels so that is called in this here it is that sudo okay sudo means sudo stands for substitute user do okay substitute user do or super user do which means that uh, by default the super user is root right in the linux so the whatever the super user do if you want to do as a root uh, as a user normal user then what you require to configure or what you require to add into the configuration files so that the user becomes a super user can do as a super user okay what sudo does is an incre incredible and important and crucial to many Linux distributions like not only the single Linux distributions so across the all the Linux distributions you can configure this sudo as access and allow users to run a program as a root user okay how you can do that so using this sudo as file so what it makes in the sense whenever you say uh, I want to run any command or particular commands can only be run as a root user so cannot be run as a normal user so always uh, they have to switch back to the root user and uh, they have to type the com uh, commands from the root so if they runs the root then they can change anything right so restrict the users and provide them only the particular commands to run and log them what they are doing so giving the permissions from the uh, sudo it gives you a limited user privileges and as well as the it locks all the options to the file so whenever they type any command it locks to the file so that is the main intention to uh, give the uh, permissions through the sudo so if you give directly your root password though they can do anything right so instead of doing that so we are going to give you give them a permissions okay the permissions can be add over here into the slash etc slash sudo files either you can uh, edit this file so now you can see that the user does not have any permission to edit the sudo files rather you can also do vi sudo to edit the sudo files another way any any way you can do that so now what i'm going to do here it is that i'm going to um, give the permissions this particular user so if you want to edit any sudo you have to switch back to the um, root user first of all okay now i'm going to use the i sudo over here so this is the default configuration file in this we have a uh, configuration stuff right so what i'm doing over here is that i'm just uh, moving that file slash it is slash uh, sudo sorry i don't want to move it i just say cat slash etc sudo ours okay and i'm just backing up that file to slash opt slash sudo or something like this so now what i'm doing here is the class slash etc i just wanted to make that value completely null to slash etc sudo now 
so nothing nothing in sudo file now what i am going to do here it is that i am going to write a complete sudo file so that it 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 explains you better way you can understand that okay so here first of all what you have to specify here it is that uh, host alias specifications which means that you can add a number of server names over here or single server name whatever it is you can add uh, both so the first of all the host aliases host alias and the host alias name you can assign to any group or you can alias directly write the username example same i say um, file or uh, something like servers i say servers and i'm going to add the usernames over here okay so my server name is this one and my server name is server i added this one like this you can add okay the first one is the example i'm just uh, for details host alias and the next one is user alias user alias in the sense if you want to make any group like user underscore alias equal to so maybe if you want to make some admins as a group admins <coughs> here i want to add the users like this here we user one okay here it should be a space user to something like this so there becomes the admins group okay now you can specify command aliases okay command alias so the command alias in the sense the shortcut name for the commands so you can add uh, uh, like each and every command add into the one line or you can also specify like groups okay example say uh, command alias okay command alias is equal to something like um, custom commands okay you would say custom commands here you have to add full path to that command example say i'm just going to add uh, has been slash uh, mount comma slash has been slash app disk comma slash has been slash um, parted slash has been slash um, these are the super user uh, commands so i'm just specifying over here slash you can also add uh, like uh, what are the commands you would like to give to the any user access okay uh, maybe these are the commands i'm just going to make as a custom group and maybe i'm going to make some other um, uh, aliases which are like uh, admin admin stator administrator something like this and here i'm just specifying slash has been slash star which means that whatever the command which are there in the slash has been they are going to execute okay or you can also specify some command only normal command aliases example i am just specifying for examples to show you over here so here i am specifying ch mode which is a very important command in uh, to change without to don't change the any file permissions over here okay and i i am again adding one more command alias over here is called uh, uh, ch on equal to slash bin slash ch on okay this is the uh, file you can add command aliases user aliases and server aliases now you can define the policies okay so here you can define the policies like um, uh, by default whenever the command some somebody write typed wrong then you should get email alert or uh, you should add the timestamp to the commands whatever they type okay log year okay log the uh, tickets like which means that the tty ticket numbers okay 
all the details if you want to add and you, you want to add the default log file somewhere else you should specify what are the commands you type over here okay here i'm specifying defaults something like this and uh, defaults syslog example that uh, it should log the syslog to authentication and uh, any insults which means that uh, somebody type the wrong passwords or the uh, they are trying to do something um, okay that that should be logged and send an alert okay and uh, i am again saying uh, defaults over here the log file default log file is or i am going to write into slash var slash log slash um, sudo dot log file and again the defaults i am going to specify is the timestamp timestamp underscore timeout value equal to zero which means that no waiting so it's going to immediately write and log the year as well so in the time it does not write the full year actually but in this case it writes the uh, full year and again i'm going to define the mail option okay which means that uh, whenever something wrong okay they should send a email alert okay to my email address and uh, here and when the mail should send the mail should send always and uh, specify also mail backups and uh, mail no user in the sense it will not mail to the users it mails only to the uh, root user or the specified user okay and when it is sent again so when they do a bad password okay here i don't want any things i want to add as a bad password so this is the configuration i specified now i am going to specify a user details okay here hello users to run any commands i am allowing the first of all uh, root user okay i am allowing to the all the commands and root specified into the all and um, I am specifying the uh, user A Ravi to run all related use all related and I am uh, specifying over here it is that no password it will ask while uh, running any commands okay like this you can specify and you can also specify group names example I would like to specify the group name called um, engineers so this is the default group you can create and you can provide the permissions to them okay all uh, equal to example I specify all or I specify no password and they can only execute something like um, custom commands these custom commands okay or you can also specify um, admin groups okay for example say admins okay or admins one example say i already have admins over there so here all and all and i am going to say administrator they are going to execute so in the engineers or if you want to make any other group example say i would like to make something like a dba group over here okay they also execute all the commands okay or all the administrator commands but i would like to restrict their some commands okay 
what are those so the, the restriction commands you can type over here it is not using the exclamatory over here okay chmod so who are the member of dba group they don't want to run chmod or ch1 commands so this is the just configuration file i have written for the uh, uh, sudo users so i am going to explain you that okay now what now so there is some error that's okay no problem edit edit the file and uh, there is some error in over here okay so i did not specify the comma over here that's why it's giving the error All right now again it is saying <coughs> it is actually good not good right our pseudo file is confirmed okay there are some unused aliases that's okay no problem but unused aliases basically you have to uncomment uh, comment the file actually but um, i did not comment it over here so now if i switch back to the a ravi user over here okay so what are the commands i have specified or to on that okay sorry i just switch back to the root and uh, slash etc slash sudo file okay here for the a ravi what i have specified run any command with sudo without password okay and uh, i'm just switching back to the uh, user over here and i'm typing something like uh, cat slash etc slash um, sudo so it is says permission denied but before that i just add sudo so it it's add me to execute that command okay so which means that the a ravi user has all the commands they can execute but without root so adding sudo in front of the command example say if i type fdisk f and l which says permission denied but you can add sudo in front of that you can execute the user the command as a root user okay like that you can uh, use the command line interface to execute it or i specify some other user example cat slash etc slash uh, password over here so i have a uh, user one right so in this user one i am going to specify the permissions for him okay over here and i say user one i am going to say all i know password i say only execute some custom commands we already defined some custom group over here right see this custom group so i specify that custom group over here so it's going to execute only that custom commands okay cat slash etc uh, sudo us what is the i'm just showing you what is what are those custom commands so the custom commands are mount f disk parted okay now i'm going back to the user one switch back to the user one and type mount so it is executed but uh, when i type um, app disk it is executed okay like this permission denied so if you want to execute the so app disk command over here you have to type sudo okay if you want to mount okay if you want to mount any path okay you have to execute with sudo okay but if i execute any other command sudo example say slash etc 
uh, should our file or here I'm just cat still it says asking for the user password if I enter the password still it says the user cannot um, enter any maybe I'm typing the password wrong over here exit from here let's example say set the password first and uh, okay now what i'm doing sudo cat slash etc sudo us basically i did not given permission to use uh, it use this sudo us file to cat or edit for the user one so which is asking for the password if i enter the correct password also it says that sorry the user one is not allowed to execute slash cat sudo us file as a root the server one because I did not given him a permission to execute those commands but I given them a com uh, execute command called fdisk right if you execute without sudo it gives you permission denied but you can execute it using the like this so what what is what is the policy you have to specify over here in the vi sudo you can add uh, command aliases and user aliases and user permissions you can give but here i have specified the group why you have to specify these groups over here example every time whenever i use the uh, user added to the uh, linux or the created on the server then i again i yeah, have to go to edit this vi sudo file and uh, giving him the permissions and all the stuff right so no need to edit sudo or file always whenever the user is joined to the organization i want to give this permission that permissions no okay you so simply what you can do here it is that you can simply create the user and add that user to that group in sense what are the group we specified over here in the sudo verse example say i specified the user to add into the DBA groups or engineers group okay so you can simply say group group add I say DBA group okay and say whenever the user adding okay I would like to say add the user add I want to say maybe one zero zero one zero something like this and um, slash home slash Kumar okay or I would like to add him to the DBA group and the secondary group is uh, maybe wheel group okay I say the username is Kumar enter the username Kumar has been added so by default he will get the permissions of DBS so what are the DBS they has okay the permissions he will get it okay now you can simply set him on a password and switch back to his user id okay now type the command wdisk l it is permission denied but you can say sudo so like that you no need to add the users into the sudo files always okay you can simply define the group okay sorry you can simply define the group in sudo then you can specify the that um, this group name or add the user into that group so that always so they are into that okay i said ch mode uh, the kumar cannot execute okay you can type ch mode command over here example i have default home file over here i would like to change triple seven to this uh, default path which is says executed okay by default you already have that uh, permission so no need to add okay so like that you can definite in the sense you can restrict or you can uh, give the permissions particularly only if you want to give only to a particular 
file or particular um, shell scripts or particular command you can specify over there on the sudo file so the user can get only to execute those files and uh, commands you can restrict them using the exclamatory mark and uh, add that command uh, on the sudo policy so that the user can get or uh, user cannot execute the commands whatever they want okay this is about the sudo i hope you enjoyed this uh, video if you have any questions you can always reach me out on uh, this email address or you can comment below on this video and you can if you want more videos on this uh, series you can click on the playlist which is added in the comment section or the comment uh, description section okay you can comment your question always welcome the questions thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask